it's finally here guys the second piece to my new tool pack out and I am so excited let's take a look coming up next right here on a better biomed guys it looks like it's here it's finally here i apologize for the wind noise i gotta do this outside because it's the best place to do something like this trust me i'm gonna try this out over a bunch of bumps and whatnot and i'm hoping that this is my second three drawer pack out set so let's open it up and let's give it a shot oh my god okay so this one i can immediately see a difference it's not packaged the same way as the other one. This one here is just in a regular box. I hope it's not damaged. <laughs> because the other one came inside a formal Milwaukee packaging. And this one here is very informal. All right. The three drawer. The three drawer. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, what a nice setup. Take a look at that. So let's take a look. Oh, those drawer slides are actually way smoother than I expected them to be. Now they are ball bearing drawer slides and this one here was rated at 50 pounds, I think worth the total load. And I would imagine that this one is also 50 pounds. But uh, no, those look like pretty reasonable drawer slides. And again, we got the drawer dividers, enough for one drawer to divide it all up perfectly. But overall, these drawers are latching in pretty good. All right guys, so let's take a look and let's run it around, see how well it handles. You would think that maybe it was a little bit top heavy or maybe unstable on this dolly system. We're gonna take a look at that. This is almost exactly the height that I was hoping it would be. So now my tool bag can go up here. My pack out vacuum cleaner can also slap up there. And this is gonna take the place of that large metal rolly um, tool box that I had inside the shop before. Except now my tools are more mobile. So instead of having just one large mechanics cart inside my shop, now I have this. So no, it's not gonna be the thing that I take to every single case. That's what my tool bag's for. But when you want to go and do some serious PMs, if you want to go and do some serious rebuilds on some stuff, this is the way to do it. So I still have enough space. I can stack the pack out way up to here if I really needed to. But I'm going to have some consumables in here. I'm going to have some tools in here. We're going to take a look at it uh, probably tomorrow in the next couple days. I'm going to build it out properly and take a look and see how it fits and maybe make some adjustments. But let's take a look and see how this guy goes over some bumps because that's how it's gonna be coming on and off elevators, going up and over, you know, conjunctions in buildings. So I'm gonna run it up and over the steps and see how well this thing is. It looks like it's reasonably stable though. Maybe a, a little bit wobbly. That's kind of expected because there's no structure right here in the middle. But let's take a look. Oh man. I'll tell you immediately, carting this around compared to carting the other one, the other one, the handle is a little flimsy. It wants to shake around a little bit. This one here, it's very, very secure. I just kind of wish that there was a way of securing these boxes to the back without using, you know, I, I guess I could use some tie downs or something, but it just, it does feel a little bit wobbly on the cart. I know it's not going anywhere, but it just feels a little wobbly. things I kind of like about this cart system is there are some troughs right here. Now when you're taking something apart you can easily just take this cart set it up next to you and you put your stuff in there like your fasteners while you're taking it apart. You have the ability to store longer things in here if you need to or if you want to. But there's one other very special thing about this dolly I did not bring up in the last video 
and it's imperative that you guys know all the facts about this system. So let's say I want to detach this guy. No problem. Detach this guy. Now we have this dolly, this two wheel cart, and we want to put this in our vehicle. One of the problems I had with the old system is the clunky box would not fit under my hard tonneau cover of my Jeep. So what do you do about that? That's why I really fit this car. You got two levers right down here. You lift them up and you rock it forward. And take a look at that. It folds up. Can you see that? That's, that is probably one of the absolute best features about this whole entire thing. Now, the one modification that I probably will do is I'm gonna put some uh, plastic pads down here because in other words, you got metal on flooring and you can you can really mess up some flooring. You know, if you're put, parking this on some laminate or something like that, you can already see it's starting to scratch up the bottom of it. I don't really care about that so much, but that means it's metal on probably some nice flooring if you're going into doctor's offices. So I'm gonna apply some adhesive pads down under here to pad it on the front side. One of the other things I really want to bring up about this cart, guys, this guy right here. You see these rails in the back? They're not just structural. Those are actually stair slides. I'm not saying that you should be taking this up and down stairs, but if you need to, these stair slides, see how they're right in line with the wheels? As you slide it down the stairwell, it's going to go over the stair tread and it's going to glide you down to the next stair tread. Super nice, super easy. I always look for dollies that have some sort of uh, stair glides on them because they make life so much easier. Now I can already see a slight damage on my plastic right here. So we'll have to see the durability of this cart. I really wish that this cart was metal. Built the exact same way, but metal. Maybe not even all these trusses in the middle. You could probably do without those if it was just metal. Bolted here, bolted down here for a $200 cart. And considering I have not done very much to have slight damage already in the rails, it's not very good, but I'm just being honest with you guys. It is what it is. So let's load it back up. They load effortlessly. All right. So guys, that is my new pack out tool kit. It's gonna go really nice with my tool bag and the pack out vacuum system. And I also have other pack out kits that I can stack on here based on what PMs I'm gonna be doing or repairs. So if I'm doing say plumbing repairs, if I'm doing electrical repairs, you never know what you're gonna be doing, but I have different pack out kits for all that kind of stuff. So it is what it is. The convenience of being able to access my consumables like rubber gloves, I got shrink tube. I've got all sorts of stuff that's going to be super nice to be able to really access without having to de-stack my whole entire pack out and then stack it back up in order to move to the next piece of equipment. Trust me, that gets old real quick. But this system, it's really not that bad. It's what, $130 per box, $260, let's say less than $300 for the boxes, and it's $200 for the dolly, which is a little ridiculous. but. All in all, $500 for the entire system. I would say that's kind of a win. But anyway, guys, I've taken enough of your time. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me about this system, go ahead and leave the comments down below, and I'll try and get to as many of them as I can in an orderly fashion. So thank you once again, guys.